that I don't think you can see real QVD products in the market for another five or six years because our industry, I'm not saying it was quality by accident, it wasn't QVA. Um, however, I don't think the fundamental research that would enable them to do that was not done. Now, he comes from Genetic, which is a particularly science-based company. And again, I'm not putting the others down, but their culture is slightly different. They also come from Biotech, which is also a different culture. Because if you don't know what you're doing, it usually smells or it's green. <laughs> so knowing what you're doing is very critical. I think the challenges that, again, the biotech industry has, there are some reactions that you can't actually control. Because you just have to keep your fingers crossed and see if it's going to go or not. So I think development of technology will help, you know, something like something simple like glycosylation. How do you control it? Um, so that will change, you know, fundamentally the instruments that we have are oxygen measurement, glucose measurement, they're, they're very limited, but that's improving. And what he did say, which I really did like, was how do we increase, how do we decrease our batches and how do we go, and I think for that to happen, you really do need a change of mindset. If we can work out how much moisture is on moon, Surely we can make drugs or anything else anywhere we want if we have a mindset which is different. Now the reason that they haven't been there is something which Helen said as well, and that was that FDA, the regulations have been a hindrance. Now we've said we will lower the concerns, we will change our way of working.